the Samsung S3 Guru here. And today we're going to look at the Invisa Shield uh, from Zag, Z A G G. And I had this on my Samsung Galaxy, and um, I had it on my Motorola Zoom. There's a couple of different screen protectors out there. As you see, I. Uh, from the if you're following along in these interviews uh, these reviews in chronological order you'll see that I switched the other day from my flip case to this um, uh, to the shell holster from Verizon the point being that when I have the flip case I, at least when I put it in my pocket I had something covering it once I start carrying it like this I, I know the screen's going to get scratched in no time I can see a couple of little tiny um, imperfect, not imperfections, a couple of little tiny problems already. Uh, but it's just going to get worse because, uh, for one thing, the speakers and thing are in the bottom. So when I have that cover on, I tend to put it down like that. And of course, that's the part that gets scratched. Now, uh, Verizon sells their own little cover. I've always gone with the Zag for a couple of different reasons. First, I think it's a better product. The other one comes like three in a pack. I think this was, this was 20. I think the other one comes three in a pack for 20. And the reason there's three in a pack is because they get scratched up there. Actually, if you look at it to begin with, it's not, it's, it's translucent to begin with, the, the, the one from Verizon. So it's like, why would I put that? I want to be able to see. So, and also the Zag has a very liberal policy as far as, uh, whenever you say, okay, Hey, um, I need to get a new one, or this is scratched, there's a problem. It comes with a lifetime guarantee, and basically they just send you another one, probably at cost, so it's probably not a big deal. What they will do, though, uh, which is actually my fault, is so if it sells for 20 they will replace it, and you pay shipping and handling, and that comes up to be like 5 or 6 But you have to either tell them that there's a problem, and I think they'll do it once, or you have to send back the other one. And if you don't send it back, and they give you a good long time. I was in Europe, so it's not their fault, it's mine. But I think they give you like two months. But if you don't send it back, then they charge you the difference. They'll charge you $15, so you end up paying $20. So anyway, that's what I ended up doing, because that's but that's my fault. So let's take a look and see what's on the inside here. So usually you get, and most places will actually put this on for you for a nominal fee. Um, I have... Um, I used it. I paid the first time because I wanted to actually see how they did it, and um, then after that, I've done my own from that point on. So it comes with a little. Um, comes with a little. This is the magic spray that we're going to spray on it, and then it comes with the squeegee, and usually a little cloth to help clear it up. Let's see what we got here. So, yeah, so standard, standard procedure here. So it's got a little squeegee to help squeege, squeege, squeege. And it comes a little um, chamois to uh, do it. Now, the first thing you do is they tell you, make sure it's that the screen is cool, make sure the thing is off. Uh, but if you come in and say, can you do this for me, they just do it right then and there. So I, I don't know how religious you have to be about that. Then the second thing that they tell you to do is uh, clean it. Well, we're going to definitely clean it. They tell you clean it with something. Um, I started seeing them actually do this at the Verizon stores and a couple other places, and it, it made perfectly good sense after I saw it. And I'm using a plain hand, plain hand sanitizer with nothing in it, uh, no fragrance and no extra stuff. And that in itself, it's again, it's alcohol, and you can use that to clear off the screen. You can see it's almost all gone anyways. And then I'll use this, use a little chamois that they give me to get rid of all of that stuff. And when we get through there, that should be perfectly smooth and clear. And I'm tipping it towards myself that I, so I can see. You probably can't kind of, you know, there you go. You can probably see there's like nothing on there now. That's, that's pretty good. And I actually used that, that little trick before. So the hand sanitizer dries so you don't have to worry about any other issues and it goes through. Now, they tell you a couple of different ways of uh, putting this on. I'm supposed to remove this. Which side am I doing here now? Because this is a little different from what I saw before. 
because this isn't the screen protector. The screen protector is down on the bottom here. I'm trying to separate it from this second piece. Okay, so there's the second piece. Let me just check one thing because they um, they've changed this just a little bit. So I, I gotta know, gotta make sure I know which one is the top, which one is the bottom. All right. Uh, so in order to put the fingerprints on the scan, 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 with a solution. Okay, that's fine. And then okay. So yeah. So as I had suspected. All right. So let's see. Samsung Galaxy S. This part is the part that's going to go on the screen. So the part that's down on the on the piece. See, it doesn't. There's really no sticky stuff. The sticky stuff that's going to come with it actually is already on it's it's in that the the juice so to speak now there's a couple of ways of doing it i'm going to do it the way that they do it at the store which is not necessarily the way that they tell you to do it um but the way i've always seen them do it at the store is this they pretty much douse this thing with the solution okay careful of the speaker there but they pretty much douse this thing and i think they do that because it makes it easier to uh to move that around so now we're going to peel this off and i'm going to put that end down and i'm having a little trouble they've changed this a little bit i'm having a little trouble removing this there we go okay and that's the bottom okay because i don't want to change it too much and we'll just put it on there now i'm going to actually leave it down while i do it and this was one of the reasons that I've seen them douse it. Because when you douse it, you can keep picking it up. Whereas you can't keep picking it up if you don't douse it. So I'm just trying to make sure that I got it right on the edge there. It's not perfectly lined up. But it will, as long as it covers the screen, that's really all I care about. As long as it's covering the screen uh, and is not covering the light sensor... It's not carrying the piece. I could move that over just a little bit more. And again, with the screen doused, uh, it's very difficult to do this and talk at the same time, but that's okay. I am the Samsung S3 Guru, so I'm going to have to learn how to do that. All right. So again, because it's doused, see, I can pick that up if I need to. So I'm being careful not to touch. I'm trying to see if I can just kind of measure it right up measure it, get it right on there I think I probably had it right the first time because I think I'm off the edge here all right that's the problem with live TV okay and you also get to see how much fun it is all right. other issue I'm having is that uh, I'm actually doing this um, with sunglasses on because the way that I do these videos I have a little uh, I'm in a light cube and there's like these huge light bulbs all right so that's pretty much it if I could just get it smooth I think I'd be all right so let me just uh... <laughs> okay so there we go so that's got the edge I got the thing okay that's probably better than I had it before okay now I'm supposed to do this again I don't necessarily but that's alright we'll do it and now I'm gonna just squeegee that out squeegee that out squeegee that out squeegee that out wipe off the excess wipe off the excess okay looking to see if we have any air bubbles you will get a couple, and they always tell you the same thing. They're like, it'll disappear in a few hours. Just don't worry about it. Um, as long as I don't have anything trapped underneath of there, I should be okay. Looks like I got a little piece of dust trapped under one side. Uh, I think I'll probably let that slide because I'm probably going to have a very tough time getting to that at this point. And again, I'm doing this in real time so that you can actually see what's going on. I got a little. That's going to be very difficult to get off of there. And of course, it's trying to tell me that. Okay, so I got that off of there. That's fine. Fold that back over. Uh, 
smooth that out, smooth that out, smooth that out. That's fine. And I didn't turn it off, but that's okay. So it's just trying to tell me I have to go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I didn't do a perfect job, but I saved myself $13. And, uh... Like I said, so that's that's fine. Now, what this is going to give me, first of all, if you do have a couple of little tiny scratches, and I'm one of those people that can actually see them when I have them, this will actually make those appear to disappear because you actually can't see that when they're on here, especially if you have little tiny ones. And this will, um, I find it's very good as far as sensitivity is concerned. It's not going to cut down on the sensitivity that much, if at all. And I can, um, uh, I don't have to worry about putting it in my pocket now. Now if I put it down, I put it down. And it's no big deal. So that is a real-time installation of the InvisiShield by Zag. Uh, as, let's see if I can just turn that on real quick so you can see. I mean, you can't. Here as I'm holding it at an angle here. Uh, you can see I got a little air bubble here. I'm not really all that worried about that. And as you can see, I'm actually moving that around. So I, that there will be a couple of little tiny imperfections, but those will actually disappear. Okay? Now... This is what I would suggest for right now. There is supposed to be another one out there that's actually supposed to be, if you can imagine this, another piece of glass that 